Hi, I'm Ashley, one of the certified veterinary technicians here at Pleasant Valley, and welcome to a day in the life of a dental technician. All right, so our first dental is gonna be on pickles. So I've drawn up his pre-medication, so we're gonna go ahead and get that. All right, now I have Pickle's induction medication and um, his endotracheal tube picked out so we can go ahead and get started with his dental. All right, so I have our pre-med pulled up for our next patient, Scamper, so we're gonna go ahead and get that to him. This one open. Yay! Alrighty, so we have pickles under anesthesia, so we're going to go ahead and go through and clean off all the buildup on his teeth. Okay, so now that we've scaled um, all the debris and tartar off of his teeth, we're going to go in with our polish. Um, the scalar tip that we use can make microscopic grooves in their teeth, um, so we follow with polish. Um, just to make sure that we have all of those um, grooves uh, buffed out so that they don't um, stay there and build up more tartar. Okay, now that we finished the first side, uh, we went ahead and flipped him over and now we're gonna repeat the same steps on the other side. Okay, so Pickles just has one loose tooth that we need to extract. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a dental block for him. And then we will call the doctor and check on the check it.
Okay, Pickles is all done with his dental. He only had one tooth extracted, so his mom came in at the perfect time to get his teeth cleaned. Um, so we're going to go ahead and set him up in his cage and get him nice and cozy, um, and then he'll um, stay here recovering until his mom picks him up. We're gonna get started with Scamper's Dental now. Okay, so Scamper here has a tooth root abscess. Um, you can kind of see the swelling underneath of his eye. Um, that usually occurs when um, the root tip of this tooth here gets infected um, and it kind of lives right below the eye. So that's why you see the swelling um, underneath of the eye. So to fix that, that tooth needs to be extracted. Um, so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do for Scamper today. Okay, so Scamper is a little unusual. So usually our tooth root abscess occurs on um, the number eight tooth, um, but his is actually on the seven, which is the tooth right in front of it. Um, and you can see when we look at it, um, this is the tooth in question right here. When we take a look at it, it looks grossly normal from the outside. Um, but when we go in with our dental probe, you can see that it dips down, uh, way down below the gum line, which is abnormal. Um, it really should only come down to about the two mark. Um, so obviously that's abnormal. A tooth like this is normal. Um, so this is the problem um, that's causing the swelling in his face um, and it is infected underneath the gum line even though it looks um, relatively normal. Um, so that's why we have them under anesthesia so we can get a good look and a good probe of their teeth um, because I don't even think the friendliest dog would let us do this. Um, so um, we're going to go ahead and extract that and that should fix the swelling under his face.
Scamper's dental's all done, so we have him all cozied up and ready to recover until his dad comes to pick him up. Okay, that was a day in the life as a dental technician here at Pleasant Valley. Those were two of our procedures. We usually do about four or five of those on a given dental day. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed.